it's me James and welcome back to the channel. As we all know, the Bundles of Bravery update is just around the corner. That is going to add Bundles and, of course, Hardcore Mode to the Bedrock Edition of the game. So, what I thought I would do is give a combination of five tips and glitches that, that is going to help you through the Hardcore Mode. Now, remember, some of these glitches and tricks may be a bit too, um, I don't know, glitchy for some of you guys. So, uh, yeah, you might not even want to use them. But uh, I'm going to show you a few tricks that might just help you out. So, it goes without saying, if you are going to make a Hardcore World, watch this video first and, uh, yeah, hopefully... You'll get a little bit further, maybe. I don't know. So, for the first glitch, I want to go back to a glitch I've showed on my channel before. Now, this glitch basically allows you to find chunks really, really easily. All you do is go in and out of full screen. It kind of only works on PC. But if you go in and out of uh, full screen like this, you can actually kind of see chunk borders. So, I think... Well, it's a little bit harder to see over here. But I think there's a chunk border just over here. Let's go over to this corner. And you can just about see the line right here. You see that chunk border? So I just need to clear some of these to see it a little bit easier. Anyway, that's not the glitch that I want to show you. So I don't really need to show you me finding a chunk. What I want to show you to do with that is you can actually use this uh, to find yourself a loot. Like chests and stuff like that. So for example, if I look down here, there was actually a treasure chest just there. This is like really lucky. I just picked, randomly picked this seed. I didn't like put a seed in or anything. It was a random seed. So I'm going to go right above it, and then straight away we're going to have a lovely chest to start off this world, which is, uh, yeah, really nice, right? So I'm going to go and get this. Let's see what we can acquire. And, uh, all right, straight away, we didn't get the best stuff, but, you know, to start off a world, having some armor on a hardcore world, it's not actually the worst thing, right? So yeah, there's the first one. I mean, it could have at least given us a full suit of armor. Just gave us trash, but... Yeah, you can see we got some good stuff. And something I've just noticed as well, it's kind of like a little x-ray glitch. Uh, I'm just walking around here. I don't know if you can see that, but it kind of makes a shadow where this cave goes underneath. I don't know, maybe I'm on something, maybe not. But for the most part, you can get some decent loot from it. This method, you can also see mobs through blocks. So over here, look, I can see there's a mob with a trident there. So if I wanted to go get that, I could, but I'm not going to. I'm pretty sure, standing from here, as you can see, there's a chest all the way over there. So I'm pretty sure I can see a shipwreck. I'm, I'm thinking that's what it is. So if I just go a little bit closer, we'll be able to 100% see. All right, no, I think it's just the buried treasure on the edge, which is really nice. I'm going to go for that. It's really quite close. And you can see how easy it is, especially underwater, using this method to actually see the chest. Well, I suppose this could bring me on to tip number two. I'm going to get that, um, and that's going to be part of tip number one. But basically, tip number two, uh, yeah, it's not a glitch. It's kind of a little trick. We've got these mobs right here, and I need them to get away. Well, conveniently, they're swimming away, which is, uh, yeah, that's not what I wanted to happen. But let's just basically, yeah, we're basically here. And say, like, we want these to literally go away. What you're going to do is just run away. You're going to at least run 30 blocks away, and they will completely despawn unless they picked up some kind of item or, I believe if they're wearing armor, maybe. Um, yeah, you just want to run away, far enough away, and they will completely despawn. So keep that in mind. If you're not ready to fight, or you just need to clear an area of mobs really, really click quickly. Uh, yeah, just literally run away, and new mobs will spawn as you get closer, maybe. But uh, for the most part, you should be uh, A-OK, -okay, as you can see. There's literally no drowns there anymore, which is pretty nice. I've got a little bit more time to get that chest. Diamonds and more JBL armor. This is crazy. Can you believe that? From two treasure chests, I've got all of these. And it's not even one full suit. That, that surely is a bug in the game. That is terrible. Another tip, find shipwrecks that are not actually underwater. I mean, I, I have no idea how I've just found this, but dude, this, is, this must be rare. I, I, there must be something wrong with the game. Like seriously, this is pretty cool. Uh, thank you. I you, you see that? Yeah, just just find one of these, <laughs> especially if it's not underwater, and you should be good to go. No, I just got one shot by a drown. So we had to start again. But of course, in this area, yeah, we're not even near an ocean, so there's gonna be no chests around. We can't really use this for much, right? I mean, 
I can keep checking, but there is something else we can use, which is not actually a glitch, it's a feature, believe it or not. Um, yeah, we can use this feature. I need to go up there, it would be a little bit easier to have a better vantage point. Uh, yeah, it's just going to be uh, allow us to see a lot more, let me explain. Yeah, we also kind of want a 360 degree, so we're going to have to go to the highest point. Sweet, we are now somewhat at the highest point, kind of. I mean, we could go higher, I just can't bother to build up higher, but we can see quite a lot around us, kind of. How we're going to improve that is... Um, yeah, basically we want to open the settings. This is completely in the game settings. Now, it does depend on what device you have got. I've got just a PC. It's not even like the best PC. But basically, I can go all the way up to 96 chunks, which is absolutely crazy. This high render distance could cause low frame rate crashes or other unexpected behavior. Yeah, I I'm willing to take the risk because... Take a look at how much we can actually see uh, if you can actually put your render distance up to the max. Now, there is a reason I have done this because already, as you can see, I have found a village, which, I mean, yeah, it probably wasn't that hard to find that village. But now I'm going to save myself a bunch of time. And uh, I'm also going to have a little look around to see if there's anything else of interest that uh, potentially that I want to go to first. Now, it does just look like the village. But we do have to check all the way around. So it does take a little second to load. All oh, right, there's another village over there. So I'm not really sure what village to go to. I mean, potentially we could just go to both. So I'm just literally letting it all load slowly. The back trunks are all loading now, as you can see. So I think I'm going to head to this village. And see what we can get. Because see, there is also a nice array of different biomes as well. So if that's something you care about in your hardcore world, you can give it a little look using this, which is pretty nice. And just like that, we've arrived at the village. I'm going to get some food. All right, I'm on this mountain again, and I've put the render distance up straight off the bat. I can see a ruin portal over there and a jungle temple and another boat on land. Dude, is that some kind of like bug? This mo that happens more frequently than it should. Nice, two diamonds, a pretty good book. Dude, that's actually a good chest as well. Right next to it is a boat on its side, not even in the water. Dude, I am having a really lucky day. That is insane. All right, not so good loot. We've got suspicious stew, some carrots, some moldy potatoes, and some enchanted gear, which I'll put on because... I haven't got any better gear at the moment. Just checking that's the only chest. Yep. Nice. As I just pulled up here, I can see another chest. A treasure chest right there. So let me pinpoint the exact location. Probably around here, I think. Oh, one across. Yep, perfect. Nice. Enchanted golden apple. There's actually a glitch with golden apples. I don't know if it works the same with it enchanted golden apples, but I'm going to try it anyway. So basically, you eat this, and then, yeah, I get the full amount of hearts anyway. But basically, if I take damage, I'll lose some of the hearts. However, if I were to log out and then go back onto the world, I should, like, get those hearts back. So it should regenerate the golden hearts. As you can see, I've now got full hearts again. And I can prove to you that that is... 100% the case. I'll do it again. So I'll lose some golden hearts right now. You see that? We lost some golden hearts for sure. And then we just save and quit. And we can actually fully regenerate those golden hearts. So maybe on a hardcore world, actually this glitch still being in the game could actually be a lifesaver. So uh, just bear that in mind if you have got any golden apples or if you've just got one golden apple. You could potentially use this and get all of your golden hearts back, which is pretty nice. And last but not least, no doubt you want to know how to survive if you die. Or in fact, just how, how to avoid dying altogether. Which there are a few things that I can tell you, but you're not going to like them. They're very, very cheaty. And, yeah, for me to show you, I'm going to have to get rid of these hearts. So, one sec. Right, so for this situation, once again, I'm going to, yeah, go up there. I think it'll be more better. Here we go. We're in a normal Minecraft situation, right? We're here. We need to get down. Do we, A, walk down there, the safe way, 
or B, attempt to jump in the water, which is the correct answer. So what we're going to do is attempt to jump in the water, and I'm pretty sure it's not even possible. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to die. But I'm going to show you very quickly how we can prevent that from happening. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to jump down. And, yeah, we died. But did you see that? I exited out of the game so quick. You have to do it so, so quick to even have a chance to do this. Because the game is going to register that death if you are not so, so quick. So, yeah, you've just got to be like alert alert obviously there's not going to be some occasions where you're going to be able to do this i mean lava is a good one to do this one in i mean just there wasn't no lava about to show you so i had to make up a scenario but uh yeah i'm also loading up the main minecraft which is not what we're doing this video on uh, i'm actually on the preview <laughs> which is absolutely insane right let's go back on this and hopefully i'm not dead hopefully we can join the world and be a lot you see, you see, even though that I died, I actually stayed alive. You see, again, like I said, it's very cheaty. I mean, it is very, very cheaty. There you go. Uh, I, 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 di I did it once again. Um, yeah, you just exit out of your world. Now, there is uh, potential corruption issues that could go alongside this. You could even maybe even lose your entire world. Maybe. I don't know if that's 100% true, but just in case it happens to anyone, which is always, there's always someone that loses something. Oh, you see that? It didn't work. So you have to be very, very quick. That's all I can say with that one. Now, there is kind of another way. That's right. Another way how you could potentially um, not die in your hardcore world. And it's to do with realms. Um, it's, it's essentially pay to win. Now, for some reason, I cannot get my hardcore world. I don't know if this is my hardcore world right here. But this is the only world I've got on there. So I'm just going to download it to see what it is. Um, but yeah. Essentially, if we can play hardcore on realms. Alright, yeah, no, this is just normal survival. As you can see, it's not hardcore. I don't think it's my hardcore world. But essentially, if we can actually play normal survival on uh realms what we can do is uh yeah we can basically just never die which is insane let me show you basically if i go into the main version of minecraft just to give you an aspect of how this will work so in these settings of the realms you obviously know you can go on edit world and then you have this thing called backups there's a whole section of backups that gives you time based backups so like every 15 minutes or whatever I mean, depending on how long you play, if you've not played it in a while, the backups will obviously go slower and slower and slower. But there are backups that you can literally use, so if you die, oh, I'm just going to back up. And you can essentially just never die, which is insane. Just to be clear, to people in the comments, I did not add backups to the game. Like, yeah, the devs did. It's literally part of the game. So, uh, I don't know how that's going to go down and hardcore. Yeah, it's just going to be insane. I hope this video has helped you out. If you think there is a better bug or glitch or tip that I'm missing out for the hardcore guys. Or, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm definitely going to make a hardcore series. So watch out for that. Again, if you think I'm missing anything, let me know in the comments below. But I'll catch you all on the next one.